What's up guys, welcome back to Soft Knowledge Solutions, and today we're talking about NVIDIA Control Panel. Ladies and gentlemen, NVIDIA Control Panel is actually giving a lot of problems right now at this very moment with this over here. Just in general, depending on how many screens you have, if you have one screen, if you have multiple screens, whatever the case might be, it's this over here. Digital Vibrance automatically goes back to its defaults, which is basically 50 over here. I'm just going to get to 50. And it looks like this. Every time you restart your computer or you maybe reboot or you shut your machine down and you restart your computer, your settings will look like this. Every time you come into a video control panel, you can actually see it while playing games. And what I suggest is in all my videos, especially my Call of Duty videos and for games in general, I intend to let people push this up so you have more digital vibrance in your game. Now mine is 95. That's a sweet spot for me. So I just apply it over here and then I apply it on all my other monitors as well. This is my main screen and I have multiple screens here as well. So just do this for all screens if you have multiple screens or if you just have one, you could just do it with one and have your contrast at 65. This is the sweet spot for basically every single game that you're going to be playing, especially if you're a Call of Duty player and just in general, overall, whatever game you are playing, this is the best right now at this very moment is brightness at 50%, contrast at 65, gamma is obviously at 1.00, it's obviously its defaults. Then digital vibrance, you do not want at its defaults because your game looks washed out, all games look washed out and it looks like your grandma's old TV and you don't want it to look like that. Now, there isn't a very easy fix for this because a lot of people think that you could just go and change things. I tried this by going, actually going to the search menu and then going to this task scheduler and then going inside here and checking the logs for Windows and then going here and you can go to Microsoft, you can go to Windows and then you just click anywhere here and you press W and it will obviously take you to your Windows stuff. And then there is things like this here, Windows color system. All right, now you get triggers which is this one over here, and I disabled them. And this normally indicates that this won't change, okay? This will be a thing that this won't change ever again. But unfortunately, I disabled these two things and restarted my computer to test it out so you guys don't have to do it, okay? So you don't guys don't have to test anything. I'm just going to show you the results and what you should be doing to get this fixed, okay? You don't need to go through all of this bullshit. You really fucking don't. Um... This doesn't work, okay? And if you're going to go Google how to reset this and how to fix it and stuff like that, it's all of these things in here and task scheduler and updating Windows or updating this and that, no. It, no, just fucking no, okay? This is not how you fix this. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's not how you fix this, okay? So I'm just going to fuck out of this and go out of that. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, mine's 95, my sweet spot on all my screens over here for all my games and everything that I play because it makes the screen look amazing, okay? For instance, if I pull this all the way down to zero on my side right now, it might not show on the YouTube video, but if you pull yours to zero, it will literally be black and white. And then if you pull it to 50% over here, it will look like it's a little bit washed out and you don't just you don't want your machine to look like this right so even that looks like shit to me right now so if i go to 95 and i have mine at my sweet spot which is 95 of here and i apply it and then i pull this down then this looks fucking amazing to me and my games and everything that happens on my screen looks amazing now the fix for this is ladies and gentlemen is this you're gonna fuck out of this completely and you're going to open up geforce experience if you are a geforce experience owner then don't be on this drive 565.90 this is the latest graphics card driver out right now at this very moment that everyone is on at this very moment to obviously be up to date with the latest graphics card drivers as you can see this driver has a bug when it comes to your digital vibrance and when it comes to color customization and stuff like that so this driver has a bug now for you to sort this out or you could just wait you could wait for a new update to come out but that's that could take some time and every time you boot your windows you do not want to every fucking time boot your windows right click on your desktop go to nvidia control panel and then wait for it to open then come inside here then change the fucking contrast then apply it then go fucking minimize this go play your game restart your computer the next day do the same thing over and over you're going to repeat yourself and keep doing it over and over and over and over again now you don't need to do that the only thing that you need to do is this okay you are obviously going to just fucking close out of that if you have geforce experience 
cool. If you don't have GeForce experience, that's also fine. Don't worry about it. A lot of people don't use GeForce experience to update their graphics card drivers. They just do it manually, okay? I know a lot of people that do that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to roll back one driver. That is what you're going to do for this to be fixed, basically. This is how to fix it, ladies and gentlemen. You are going to come to this driver over here, which is 561.09. This is the driver you are going to go and download, okay? Now, you can go and Google it. You just take this driver like this, and you just open up it on Google, and you can literally just say, like, for instance, NVIDIA driver download. Right, so you could just type that in like that, and then you just paste this in here, and you press enter. And then it will give you the driver, it can say Windows 11, if you're Windows 11, if you're Windows 10, you type in Windows 10, so just Win 10, like that, boom, it comes up, you click on it, and it comes up as a driver for you to download. Now, obviously, what you're going to need to do from here is just go ahead and download the driver, and install it and install GeForce Experience if you don't own GeForce Experience. GeForce Experience is a very good thing to have because it actually notifies you when a new driver is released and stuff like that. And it will actually notify you at the bottom and let you know that there's a new driver and stuff like that. So if you don't want to manually keep updating your drivers through basically Windows and stuff like that, use GeForce Experience. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is the driver you are going to go ahead and install is this one over here, which is 561.09. This is the fix for it, ladies and gentlemen. After you installed it, restart your computer, do your digital vibrance, do everything that you need to do for your games and stuff like that apply it and then restart your computer again come back into your windows and then look at the digital vibrance on your screen once you open up the video control panel like this and it looks like this you'll see it will be applied and everything will be normal again and this won't go back to its default you'll be good to go ladies and gentlemen if this works for you smash the like button leave a comment down below subscribe to your channel if you are new year and ladies and gentlemen i just want to do one more thing is this over here i just want to give a massive shout out to all my members over here like every single member that is like just helping my youtube grow and supporting my youtube it means a lot to me it really really does ladies and gentlemen you guys are fucking amazing and i appreciate every single one of you guys that became a member that gives super thanks that leaves likes that leaves comments that leaves feedback to tell me thank you that this worked or at least leaves a like or whatever the case might be. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, smash the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new year, and as always, I hope this helped you, and peace out.